Hello everyone. I just realized that I don't have an everyday makeup look, so I decided I should make one. The first thing I do is put on a lip balm. This is from Laneige, just so we could moisturize our lips before. I've been using like the hydrocolloid patches, so my skin is kind of purging right now. And to cover that up, I'm gonna use this concealer from Cosmetics. Cause it's also like a skincare concealer. So I'm just gonna put that on my chin. I only use that for like um, spots. And then for under the eyes, I like something pretty light. And this concealer from Glossier is pretty light, but like the coverage is not the best. But for me, the coverage under the eyes doesn't really matter. So. That's why I like using this one. And usually I don't put it on the sides of my nose. Sometimes I don't like to cover up everything. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll powder it with this Laura Mercier powder. I'm using this really tiny, like, it's not an eyeshadow brush. It's like a, I guess it is an eyeshadow brush, but it's like super dense. So I'll use that for powder. Get it here and then under my nose. Like that. Really like depending on my, like my mood, if, if I want something more orange or brown or pink, it kind of changes, but I'll show you my most basic eye look, daily eye look. This is just a taupe color, a light taupe color. It looks like it doesn't add any shade, but when you apply it to your eyes, it creates like a nice color. Then I also drag that color to the under part of my eyes. I like to focus most of the shadow on the outer V. This is so my eyes look more elongated. Then for under the eyes, I kind of look up and then I place the shadow. It's just easier that way. This is a cool tone dark brown color. I'll use that to line my eyes. I create like a line that kind of goes like upwards a bit because I've been more into like the cat eye look. I'll blend that in into my lash line. And then what I do is I kind of fluff the color out. So it's like that. With the leftover shadow, Create a shadow under my eye. It's like choking me, my sweatshirt, my hoodie. <laughs> and then this is a dark brown liner from Mac Queen, uh, from Mac Queen New York. And then I'll kind of trace over the the smoky line we made earlier. And make like a really thin line. I don't like wearing mascara every day, so all I do is curl my lashes. Ah. <laughs> I like using this cream blush from Milk Makeup. It makes your skin look like really nice. I don't know what they put in here, but I'll just put that like around this area. Let me redo my hair. Kind of messy, right? And then for a lip color, I want to go for orange today. Like my lip color is never the same because I like alternating between different colors. So I'll be using this one. This is from Maybelline. This one I use a lip brush to apply because it looks more blurred out when I use a lip brush. See, so it's not much of a, it's kind of orange tone, but it's like, pink at the same time. <laughs> oh my goodness. I apologize for the amount of times I changed my hair throughout this video. So today I feel like adding a little bit of glitter. I'll use this one. It's from a palette. It's not like an individual glitter. I'll use like the this one on the bottom. I'm applying that kind of just like in the inner third of the eye and then try to get to the middle. So this is the finished makeup. 
I try to keep it as natural as possible because I'm just like a, a natural person, but I also love doing makeup. So I always try to incorporate different techniques. Let me take off this. I think it's dry. Oh my goodness. Lately, I've been like, I like having my bangs parted a little bit. It's so like, not like that, but. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>